yes, after that, you will write your uh, subject, you write the salutation, your content part, what is it about, whether it is about an inquiry, whether it is about a complaint, whether it is placing an order, cancellation, letter to editor, you will write your content. In the end, yours truly. And if the designation is given, you can write the designation over there, right? Your designation you will write at the end, the receiver's designation you can write in the address also, whom you're writing to, the manager, the chairman, the director, that can be done, okay? But your designation as whom you are writing, if it is given as the coordinator, as a general manager, as a chairman, right, as the director, so you can write over there in the end, in the complimentary close. Clear? Right? Now let's start off with the play Mother's Day. This play, it's about the position of mother in a family. Ye, this is a very exaggerated situation, which has been shown. It's taken things to the extreme. And uh, it, this kind of solution, it is generally not uh, done in families. But yes, we do relate to this situation that in many families, it happens that the mother is taken for granted. And everyone is busy in their life that they don't give her much time and importance. So she is an important member. We must respect the work she does. We must appreciate the work she does for us. And yes, in simple and express our thanks and our gratitude, okay? Now Mother's Day, it is a satire as it highlights a social issue through the use of the element of humor. An important social message it is conveying, right? Now, in this play, there are the main characters. We have Mrs. Pearson, her family, Mr. Pearson, George Pearson. We have Doris and Cyril, right? Then we have the neighbor. She is Mrs. Fitzgerald. Now, in this play, what happens is that Mrs. Pearson, she is a very gentle person and very soft-spoken, very polite, and she is always concerned about the welfare of her family. Her whole life revolves around her family and she keeps on working for them. But in return, she does not get any attention. She does not get any respect. Mrs. Fitzgerald is their neighbor. And neighbors generally know what goes on, right, in others' houses. And we have some very friendly neighbors who are always concerned what is happening in others' houses than theirs, okay? Yeah, some you can close the window a little bit. I think it's too chilly inside, isn't it? Right? Yeah. That's why you're wearing a blazer. Yeah, it's very cold. So that's a look at uh, Pratham. Can you take on a notebook or a book? Okay, now Mrs. Fitzgerald, she's the neighbor. She is very opposite of Mrs. Pearson. She's quite uh, bold, dominating, and uh, she speaks out her mind. If she does not like something, she immediately tells so. Now, she has been noticing Mrs. Pearson and her family for a long time, and she thinks that it's enough now. It is time to take a stand. It's time to bring about a change. Now she goes to meet uh, Mrs. Pearson and she tells that, see, you have really pampered your family. You have spoiled your family too much. Nobody listens to you. You don't get the due respect. And uh, yes, so she says, if it had been my family, I would have sorted them out a long time ago. I would have uh, made them behave properly. Now, Mrs. Pearson, she says that she can never, you know, say anything. Yes, she does realize that she does not get much time and attention, but she is very helpless in that situation. So she just cannot do anything or, you know, be angry towards her family, right? 
which i think at times it is the wrong attitude even if you care for someone like we are there we love our family but yes uh, overlooking their mistakes or overlooking the shortcomings it's not going to help us it's going to be a problem for us in the long run right so it's our responsibility to make things in order so mrs fitzgerald she has a suggestion she says that i have uh, learned this magic she's been there to the east with her husband who was in the army posted there and so she's learned a few tricks and one of them here it is about the exchange of personalities right so she says i can perform that and i can be you you can be me and look at me how i'm going to sort out your family i'll make them you know like she says eating out of your hands they'll be following you they'll be listening to you they'll be much more respectful towards you mrs pearson is a little hesitant and uh, she says that what if we're not able to change back but she says that changing back is much more easier then uh, yes the two ladies they hold hands and mrs uh, fitz gerald she recites uh, you know that uh, yeah a spell a magic spell and uh, what happens is that yes brother i i don't remember so like uh, what happens is that yes they hold hands they cast this magic spell and after the spell what happens is there is an exchange of personality now mrs pearson who was very quiet and gentle and polite has become bold and dominating right and mrs fitzgerald has become mrs pearson so they have exchanged their personalities now with this change of personalities how is it going to affect the family mrs fitzgerald is quite different from mrs pearson she does not uh, you know like mind uh, smoking or having a drink and we see her there she's sitting on the table and she spread out the cards and she's having a game of cards right and uh, when the family starts coming they are very surprised to notice the changes right now who's the first person who comes it is the daughter doris she comes she is quite surprised to see her mother and uh, yes she just comes in and tells her that i have to go out again and i need my yellow silk dress ironed then she also asks for her tea for her evening tea right uh, me me you know a short a small meal and to her surprise a mother is quite rude and she has not done anything she's saying that if you want to go out you can iron your dress yourself right she has not made tea she said i've had mine and you can have yours and the daughter is very surprised that the mother has never spoken to her like this she has never said no to anything and she says that yeah you're going out uh, that uh, with charlie spence and she does not like him he's a half witted and with buck teeth so she does not like his appearance also and uh, she says just look at you like if uh, when i was your age at least i had a better choice in making friends so i don't stop making uh, friends uh, like uh, you have done so she is quite disappointed with her daughter and uh, she has not done anything the daughter is very upset and uh, does not know what to do so she is in tears she is crying and at the time the son enters both of them are you know like uh, very pampered and very spoiled and it seems they quite rude the way they talk to the mother so doris also comes in and uh, he also asks the same thing he wants his tea right and he also has to go out again and he says that um, can you just check my things that i have to wear and you said you would go through it and you will do any mending if it was required but mrs pearson she says that of course she has not got tea ready and she says i was not in a mood to do any kind of mending uh, today so i have not done anything and he says i we have to go out and he says that imagine us you know like coming back home after working for 8 hours every day and we come back and we uh, listen to a mother who is very rude and who has not done anything for us so she says that uh, yeah I, i do the same every day i even after 8 hours you people do your 8 hours even after those 8 hours i'm working 
and at least in the office you have someone to talk to someone who's going to handle your problems you go to the union you to discuss your problems i can't even do that now both of the children are very surprised what is wrong with her why is she behaving like that so they keep on asking right that uh, did you fall down somewhere have you hurt her yourself that is why you're behaving like this they trying to find then a big shock that comes they're very surprised to see the mother smoking they're very surprised to see her going uh, to have a drink right and uh, yeah they are really shocked to see this big change in their mother's behavior now both of them of course they are upset uh, cyril uh, you know she's in uh, like uh, yeah, doris they are in tears cyril quite upset uh, like look at her how rude she is and she's not listening to what i have to say the meal is not ready and uh, they are now waiting for their father to come home they saying what fun it is going to be when the father comes and if mother behaves like this then the whole scenario is going to be a little different so that does bring a little cheer to them and uh, yes uh, so they feel that okay are uh, they going to you know like uh, she going to deal with mrs pearson in the same way yes she does say then of course uh, mrs pearson talks about the problem one is that you people work 8 hours a day 5 days a week you get 2 days off i do not get any time off which is very very true then she says in the future i might change my behavior and even i might not work on the weekends like you people don't do any work even i won't work and uh, yes uh, doris says that you won't do anything she says if you are a little polite if you are well behaved i might do some things for you all but yes i am uh, going to you know change my behavior or change my approach towards his family then mr pearson comes mr pearson he is he looks like a person who is very very you know self centered and very concerned about himself only and the children they wait now what is going to happen now mrs pearson is home and to their surprise mother does not change her behavior the way she was with the children in the same way she is with mr pearson right and mr pearson asks uh, for his tea when the tea is not ready he says well anyway it's a good thing uh, like uh, just tells her that yeah i don't want to have any tea but when she says i never made any then he's very surprised he said supposing if i wanted then what she says but it's a good thing i did not have anything ready because you said you don't want to have anything and the thing is that she what is mrs pearson very surprised about you come home and you're saying i don't want to have something but then you are shocked that why it is not ready he says you try this behavior outside the home you go to your club and you tell them like this i i don't want to have this but you're very surprised it's not already done so nobody is going to do that so he says it then he sees her you know playing cards and she is drinking and so he's very surprised at her behavior right then uh, in the meanwhile while all this could uh, she had spread out the cards and she was just you know like maybe there are games which you can do patience and all that that cards game she was there right then in the meanwhile what happens now mrs fits gerald who is mrs pearson the neighbor she comes to check on how things are going that how is the family coping with all this change so she rings the bell and uh, mrs mr pearson goes and open the door and he is very rude to her does not even wish her does not even ask her to come inside then mrs pearson she goes and she calls her friend inside and then she tells her husband and she tells her son also that when someone comes to your home you have to be polite to them you have to greet them right and you have to be a little respectful and a little courteous right so a few things happen you know mrs pearson gets very confused seeing all these things or other mrs fitzgerald and so she does commit a few blunders and like she says i should have known and george pearson is very surprised and why should you have known something happening in my family why should you be aware of that right so then uh, you know like mrs uh, fitzgerald uh, 
she calls aside Mrs. Pearson and just tells her that I think uh, enough lesson has been taught to our family. And now it's uh, just time to, I, I think so, exchange personality. So I think so I've been a little, uh, you've been very strict with them and you have taught them the importance of the mother in the family, that they cannot be very rude. They can't take everyone for granted, right? So she, uh, like, yes, so Mrs. Uh, Pearson agrees with the exchange of the personality and then the exchange of the bodies is once again done. And uh, the children are very, you know, like scared to even talk to their mother in case of her behavior and that she's not uh, in a very nice uh, frame of mind today. Then, uh, yes, so Mrs. Pearson, now she's, the exchange of the personalities has been done. And she says that there are a few things I would like to talk to you all about that at least I would like it if you could all sit and we can have a game of cards once in a while you could do the things that I wanted to do. And it's not a big demand that she has. It's a simple thing. And then maybe when you come home, you can help me with dinner. Right. And these are the things you know, that mother wants the children to do. Just help her out in the household work. And yes, making her also feel happy and comfortable at times. So Mrs. Pearson is now once again her own self. Mrs. Fitzgerald also, the exchange of personalities has taken place. And now the family, yes, there is a little bit of a strain in the atmosphere. There is a little bit of tension there because of all the incidents that have happened. But they have realized their mistake also. That they have been too self-centered they have been too careless. They have been, you know, like too absorbed in their selves that they did not realize that mother is also having so many problems with us. We are creating problems for her and we are not being cooperative. We are not being nice towards her, right? So they take a very harsh method, which is not a very practical method. But yes, it could be symbolically, it could mean that someone who's been very soft, and someone who's so concerned and her whole day is there revolving around her family. If she changes her outlook, if she changes her behavior, what effect will it have on the family, right? So sometimes, yes, it's harsh treatment or sometimes the tough treatment is required to bring everyone under check and under control. And discipline is an important part of family, right? So discipline has to be there and cooperation also has to be there. So Mother's Day here, it is not just one day of the year when we show our love and concern towards our mothers, but it can be any day of the year. Whenever you take up time to help your mother, whenever you are there understanding that she needs some rest, she needs a day off. That is Mother's Day for her, right? Yes, there were changes. That is what, why everybody was just sitting there and Mr. George, they're talking to her. She said, I want to talk to you. And otherwise, they, do you think they ever sat and talked to their mother? They came and they just went. They would come back from the office and go wherever they had to go. Mr. Pearson, where he, would he go? He would go to the club where uh, Mrs. Pearson tells that everybody makes fun of you. What do they call him over there? They call him Pompey Pompey. Pearson and they laugh at him because every day he goes there and he's such a familiar face over there that people they make fun of him and he say and Mrs. Pearson says that you like going alone and you don't take your family with you who at least loves you who respects you and you're being made fun of by outsiders right so she wants that yes so the daughter there, she goes out with her friend there, Charlie Spence, she talks about uh, and the mother says she's not very happy with that person. And uh, the, like she thinks that her daughter is uh, much smart and much clever and she can find someone more suitable for herself, right? So she's quite upset with that choice. Then the son Doris, he goes there for the races, he spends money at the races, right? So he, she does not want that they should just come and go and just waste their time and people making fun of them, right? So if you are very familiar, if you are there every day and with the same set of people, they start taking you for granted, they start taking you, you 
outside very casually and at home uh, our parents are their family is there they will always be concerned about you they'll always be there taking care of you and being concerned about your needs right clear mrs fitzgerald she's come to change mrs pearson's family no nothing as we mentioned about her family okay and uh, do you think mrs fitzgerald family would have a problem <laughs> Would they be considering how Mrs. Swiss Gerald is? She's so strict and uh, she's such a bold person. Do you think her, her family would ever create any kind of problem? Yes, Pratham? Ha, to fin naturally, if she is there bold enough, I'll come and sort out your family. So she herself writes it. Gitesh, absolutely right. Yes, anyone, any doubts over there? No doubts at all? address chapter me in the chapter address it is about an address yes bilkul jo yeah so was 46 markani street was a address which had to be forgotten okay right so samyuk what is there in this story as he said the daughter she had been told this address by her mother before the war and uh, mother said that uh, you will uh, go to this address after the war if we survive and uh, our belongings are there possessions are there it will help to restart a new life so the girl she goes over there not once but twice she goes over there and when she goes and sees her mother's belongings they have not been kept uh, nicely and uh, yes uh, very you can say they broken the trust of mothers they take all the belongings out and they using them very carelessly and very casually the daughter is very upset and uh, so she thinks that uh, as if the memory of her mother has been spoiled as if these material things do not have uh, value for her now that the memory is no longer as precious as it was being misused by all these people they did not even know the value of the things over there right so about the cutlery they were not aware she looks at the uh, cover the table cover the plates uh, like the candle stand everything it had been taken out yes the plates also the antique plates they how valuable they were and they were using those plates at times to eat from also yes so they also she's they quite uh, you know like unhappy and uh, she thinks the easiest thing that can be done is to forget the address so this address which her mother had asked her to remember she thinks i'm just going to forget this address and uh, how does she console herself that she's living in a very small uh, apartment you know like and all the belongings would fit over there so she thinks that the easiest thing for her to do is to forget the address okay any doubts any questions aaj hamare test hai aaj humne sab kuch no horse ko leke jaate the kahan way in the fields they they used to take in the vineyard right the fred javian vineyard they talk about yes the ditches and the fields and the vineyards right yes and the barn that the fred javian uh, in the morning early morning they used to go oats alfalfa right all those things these were there which were given okay yes any other doubts andrew which place andrew was in a mining town he was there in a mining town and of blenley and he had gone out with his friends for dinner and gone out with christine right and other friends and that was uh, he realized uh, that he was looking for perfection in all kinds of relationship and because of that he was a little upset okay yes which chapter are we talking about birth what conclusion what does he, he 
so then he does not think much about that he wants it to be a very perfect relation you know and he's quite upset maybe they've had an argument and he's not quite happy so he thinks that relation should be ideal you know he looks around and he finds he looks at the ideal relationships and that was a thought that had been occupying his mind right so he was a little upset that he is not said he has not said anything about that because then he starts attending to susan morgan right so then he puts his personal issues aside yes anyone over there any question you would like to tell about uh, andrew's dilemma the problem that andrew had and uh, he had to you know like uh, give his attention towards the important case at hand and he also was there quite upset with his own personal life right so remind if you all do well in your test and please attempt your internal assessment plus your travel log that has to be given fine yeah